strategizing with how we want to behave on the stock market so that we kind of make money. These are the things that allow us to play games on the stock market and whoever's are paying attention will make a loss and yeah, you know, we play to win. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Matilda and on this channel we talk about everything investment, growing our money so we can live the types of lives that we want and basically enjoy this thing called life. Anyway guys, so if you have been wondering how a dividend notice looks like, do these companies even inform you when you're going to get a dividend, how much is it, like what is going on with this dividend thing or the profit thing, this is the video for you. So guys, most companies, just like any other company, if you run a business or you have a small business, they will have a thing called a financial year. So a financial year, for example, if it starts out in January, it will end in December, depending on what your systems are like. So at the end of each financial year, um, you can calculate your profits or losses or your cost of, exp cost of operations, expenses, and all those things, do your financials and close your books for that particular time period. So the same thing happens with listed companies. They will have a particular time period when they calculate their expenses, declare losses or profits or things like that. But at the end of it all, they will also um, create a notice. They will give out a notice um, for dividends, so say a dividend notice. So with that notice, usually it's posted on the Luce or it can be emailed to you or it can be put in the newspaper. It basically looks something like this. So this example is for Lafarge. So guys, for this example, you can read through in your own time, but just to get to the three main meaty areas that I would like us to focus on. The first thing I'd like us to look at when we see this dividend notice is first of all, the dividend amount. So with the dividend amount, you can see that the company, which is Lafarge, is informing us in this case that it's going to be paying out 15 guay per share. So if you have a thousand shares, you can multiply that amount by 15 guay and then you have a rough, rough estimate of how much shares you're going to have. Actually, you have the precise estimate of how much shares you're going to, um, how much dividends you're going to receive in this time period. So it will help you know that as well. The second thing I'd like to draw your attention to is the last day for trading to be eligible to receive dividends. So in this example, the last trading day is, or the last day to be eligible to get dividends, 27th of April, which is a Tuesday. So this kind of helps us just know when we need to trade and not trade. So if you want to liquidate your shares, you can come up with a strategy based on that information. If you have been on the stock market for quite some time, you know what I mean. Some people can be a bit tricky with this one. Um, I've bought shares before from somebody thinking I was going to be eligible to get dividends, yet they sold to me those shares um, after the eligibility date passed. So even when I bought those shares, I couldn't get the dividends. I lost out on the dividends thinking I'll get the dividends. And then this person got, they sold their shares to me and they also got the dividends when I was busy hoping that I would get the dividends. So yeah, after I learned that lesson, I kind of pay attention to those dates. So whenever you see um, the financial year, you know that all oh, your financial year came to an end. You might want to check if you're looking for dividends, that is. You might want to check when the dividends payout will be and the eligibility date so that you kind of get what you're hoping to get. But if you're not looking for the dividends in that particular time period, that doesn't really matter. So the third thing that I want to draw your attention to is the payment debt. So the payment debt usually is not too far off from um, the eligibility date. So usually they kind of fall within the same two weeks, the same few days you most likely will start getting paid out. So the only reason that I would like you to pay attention to it is so that you kind of know if the money doesn't come about that period, you kind of know maybe there's an error somewhere or you need to follow up something, but I've never really had that problem unless uh, the time I'd receive uh, checks through the post office that so would take longer than expected. So I would know that maybe it was a sorting out problem. But other than that, usually they come, uh, now they're deposited into my account. So they come about the exact same time. 
So um, usually you want to look out for those three things. They kind of help us kind of just strategizing with how we want to behave on the stock market so that we kind of make money. These are the things that allow us to play games on the stock market. So you guys, um, this was basically a summary of the three things that I look out for on a dividend notice and just going through what a dividend notice would look like so that you kind of have an idea. So imagine if you had a thousand shares in Lafarge, how much money you would be making if you got that dividend. So um, that's just one example. You can still look at more. There's still more un dividend announcements on the Lusa website. So you can go over there and get familiar. But other than that, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.